Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6.1, including 6.1.3, 6.1.4, and 6.1.5 on the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the iPad mini, the fourth generation iPad, the third generation iPad, the iPad 2, the fifth generation iPod Touch, as well as the fourth generation iPod Touch. Now in this jailbreak tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use POSIX Pwn, which is a new utility from I Hate Snow. So following last week's Evasion 7 untethered jailbreak for all iOS 7 devices on 7.0.4 and following I Hate Snow's Cydia POSIX Pwn package to convert older A4 devices tethered jailbreaks into an untethered jailbreak, I Hate Snow has finally released his POSIX Pwn utility for OS X. Unfortunately, it's not out for Windows just yet. I will update this video with an annotation once the hacker releases it though, but for now if you have access to an OS X based computer You will be able to jailbreak on the latest iOS 6 firmware And the main reason why it took him so long to release this utility is that if users encounter errors Most of them won't be able to solve them via a simple restore because that will force them to update to iOS 7 Which is the whole reason of POSIX Pwn to give users the choice between iOS 6 and iOS 7 And with that said the only device I have that's on iOS 6 is the fourth generation iPod touch Which is on the latest version for the device being iOS 6.1.5. So I'm just going to go inside of the settings app, general about, and show you guys that down below at the bottom, it does confirm that I am indeed on iOS 6.1.5. As you can see for the version, again, it says 6.1.5. All right, and without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and proceed with this tutorial. All you need to download is POSIX Pwn. So I will have a link to a written tutorial on my site down below in the more info that also contains download links. Once you have POSIX Pwn downloaded, simply open it and you'll be greeted with an interface that's very similar to Evasion as well as previous utilities such as Absinthe. And the process is actually more similar to Absinthe than it is to Evasion. So at this point, it's recommending that you make a backup of your device inside of iTunes. I also highly recommend doing that because if any of you encounter issues you unfortunately will most likely have to restore to iOS 7 in which case you'll have to jailbreak using the latest Evasion 7 utility and I'll have a link on the screen now via an annotation if you're on the desktop version of YouTube that will take you directly to that video all right and to begin you need to plug your device in so I have my USB cable here for my fourth gen iPod touch and I'm just going to connect it. Once you do so, it should automatically detect your device inside of POSIX Pwn, and you can continue simply by clicking jailbreak. Now, this is a very simple jailbreak. It's just going to give you the status update and some real-time information inside of POSIX Pwn, and your device should look normal at first, and then it will go through somewhat of a restore process. As you can see here, it's saying that it's restoring and that the restore is complete. Don't worry though, you will still retain all of your data on your device. It just has to do that to deliver the jailbreak payload and to get all of the files that it needs to jailbreak your device. And again, you should get a pretty detailed status update inside of POSIX Pwn. I'm not really going to cut anything out of this video just to show you guys approximately how long it should take. All right, and even though I'm at the lock screen here, do not unlock your device, just leave it connected and everything will continue. Now I'm just going to press the button to keep the screen on here, but you don't have to. As long as your device is connected, you should be fine. And again, POSIX Pwn will continue. Also, it's very important that at this stage, you do not unplug your device and you leave it connected to your computer. And inside of POSIX Pwn, it even says that it's sending Cydia and the untether payload to the device. So we're closing in on the final steps here, and this fourth generation iPod Touch is now jailbroken. It's saying that the device will reboot automatically, and once it does, we will have Cydia, and then from there, all you need to do is simply open Cydia, and it will reload the data, and then it should instantly respring after that. Now that step does take some time, and I'm going to get into that more once this iPod boots up.
All right, here we go. The fourth generation iPod Touch is now back up. Now that did take some time again because this is an older device. But as you can see, I do have Cydia now and it will start to prepare the file system and Cydia will again exit once it's complete. So I'm just going to bring this a little bit closer here and I'm going to leave it on the screen while this step is performing. Again though, this will take some time. Again though, this will take some time. Again though, this will take some okay. Again though, this will take some time, so do not press the home button. Just leave it open at this Cydia screen, and again, it will respring once it's finished, and you will be able to fully use Cydia. All right, and finally, after what seemed like forever, it finally quit out of Cydia and it did respring. So now when you unlock your device and you open Cydia, it will open properly and you can tell Cydia who you are. I'm just going to select user, done, and then from there it will refresh Cydia and you'll have everything that you're used to inside of Cydia. And this is of course a fully untethered jailbreak, so you will be able to reboot your device at will without having to plug it into a computer and use a utility to get it to boot into its jailbroken state. And as you can see, at the bottom of Cydia, it does confirm again that this is a fourth generation iPod Touch on iOS 6.1.5 with Cydia 1.1.9. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope it helped you jailbreak. Again, if you want to jailbreak on iOS 7 though, just be sure to watch my Evasion 7 Untethered Jailbreak Guide. Again, I will include a link to that on the screen now in the form of an annotation. Also, if you guys like this video and you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. Also, be sure to sign up for free app life. Just navigate to freeapplife.com inside of Safari, create an account, download and open the FAL tracking app once, and you will be able to download sponsored applications for points and then redeem those points for various prizes such as paid application codes and gift cards. So you will be able to earn apps from Apple's App Store for free while also supporting the developers of said applications. So again, these are some paid applications that you can download for free from Free App Life just by first downloading sponsored applications, earning points, and then redeeming those points. Also on Free App Life, you will gain multiple opportunities to enter some really awesome giveaways. Right now we're currently holding three fifth 
generation iPod Touch giveaways. And finally, if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.